Okay, right now we have uh, <clears throat> a rail box box car on here, and I've got a tsunami sound card in this one of their sound car cards, and I'll pick it there. I've got a the decoder pro pulled up here, and we're going to see if we can program this using the decoder pro software. So uh, let's go ahead and open that up. And we've already got it labeled. <clears throat> so I'll go through this. Uh, this is RBOX for our road name. Road number is 10,001 and I have installed this in an Atherin uh, it's an Atherin blue box kit is what it is so uh, I'll save that on the roster I'll go ahead and So that's on our roster. We'll look at our basics. We've got a short address of three. I really don't need to change that. <clears throat> the way this works is when you put it on the uh, layout with another locomotive, uh, they call it smart consisting. <clears throat> you end up using a magnet and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera or not. Yeah, you can. I use this magnet. Uh, and I run, I've got this installed to where the decoder's in the top of the car. So you run the magnet across the top of the car. And you can hear the brakes release. And then you press, <clears throat> I believe it is uh, function 8 on your controller three times. Uh that will let the air off of the brakes and then that'll put it in the consist with your locomotive that you're running so <clears throat> what that'll do is with your speed when you start your locomotive forward reverse whatever you can hear the, the clickety clack and some other things there so we'll go through this we'll leave our address as three <clears throat> I'm not going to change that uh, we don't have a, any motor set up, no speed control, no speed table. We've got our functions. Now these cards, they do come with uh, outputs for headlights, forward and reverse. Uh, they have an air horn, they have a bell, short horn, generator, they have lighting functions in them, dimming, you can mute the car, an uncoupling effect, uh, brakes, coupler, and then functions three and four are for extra lights or whatever you want to have. So that's our function mapping, that's our lights. We don't ha I don't have any light, light effects in this car so we won't fool with that. The analog controls don't fool with that. Our consisting, like I say, we don't have to, to put any of those numbers in, but you can. So, yeah, you can see right here is our F8. You hit that three times and it'll automatically sync up with your loco that you're controlling it with. Okay, let's see here. We've got, uh, forget where I'm at. I'm on advanced, so I'm not really going to do anything with that. I'm going to look at our sound levels. Um, somebody had asked a question 
on a, on one of the videos I posted of the install, if you could turn on or off uh, the some of the sounds. And so, I guess the short answer would be yes. Uh, the real answer would be you could mute either one. And you can do this right here with our, our bell ring rate, the sound car. So, right there's the horn we've got and the bell. Uh, so, so yes you can. We've got our clickety-clack enabled, our flange squeal is enabled, the wheel noise, the brake sounds, uh, the horn, I leave that enabled, the coupler, so everything I've got enabled except for this flat spot. And so we can go to our sounds, and this is where you would adjust those sounds. So our air horn is all the way as loud as it will go. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to put our volume all the way up. I like everything uh, loud. Uh, the air horn, I'm going to turn that down because I don't use the air horn sounds and I don't use the bell so I could just disable it if I wanted to uh, I think I'll turn this up a little bit and put it about a hundred the flange squeal I'm gonna put that up a little bit too I'll put that about 75 of course the flat spot was disabled the wheel noise I want to turn that up to 75 and of course we can always come back in and you know change these coupler volume I like to hear that coupler coupler crash I'm gonna turn that up to 100 give or take uh, we'll do our uncoupling at 100 brake set now that's the brake set and the brake release That's when you are getting ready to consist the car. Let me turn that up. I'll turn that one up. Our emergency brake volume up is high enough. Let me go up with that. Brake squeal volume. Like I say, I like that loud. <clears throat> and our brake set I want to be able to hear that okay so let's go ahead we'll write our changes so we've written those here's a look at our CVs and automatic sound control. Um, I don't have any of this enabled. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to leave everything the way it is right there except for maybe this flange squeal. Well, I'll leave it right there. So, all right. Let me. I've already written all of my changes. Got that all taken care of. I want to make sure I save that. So, we'll close that out. And then I'll have to go in, I'll have to get me a, a locomotive there and we'll consist that thing up and we'll listen to it to see what it does. So I'll go back here to the uh, 
on the main. <clears throat> Let me flip that down. Let me see if I can just go right to it without putting the locomotive on there. Okay. You can hear as I'm increasing the speed, you can hear the everything start to speed up. Of course, I've got the horn turned all the way down. And the bell's turned all the way down. So I'm, I'm going up with the speed right here. Okay, now I'm coming back down. You can hear the generator running on that. I may go in and disable that. <laughs> but there's that's step 28. So I think we'll go back in and I'll. I'll make some changes on that. <clears throat> um, but really the, the whole purpose of this was just to, to show that you can mute and unmute sounds. So I'll get back into the programmer Okay, that's up. <clears throat> we'll go back to our, well, let's go back to our sounds. Uh, I'm going to disable the generator. Okay. And then, You can turn it off with F9. You can set the number of axles. There's our generator kicked on again. There, I, I turned it off on the, on the controller because I haven't. Uh, written the changes to this yet. I haven't written this change here. The coupler sound. Okay. So let me... There. I, you can hear that. It roped out. Now we'll go back to our sound levels. Of course I've turned the generator off. go back up with this flange wheel. I'll make that a little louder. I'll do about 150. Uh, I'll turn the wheel noise up some too. I want to be able to hear it when I'm running it. Okay. Let's uh, write those. Okay. Let me save them. Now we'll see. Uh, there's our wheel squeal.
So there's there's that. We can we can program that with our JMRI software. And then I just wanted to kind of do that just just to show that you can. So I've got that turned off. And okay, that'll be the end of that video. So thanks for watching and uh, give it a like if, if you want to. Thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment. So all right. Have a good evening or whatever you're watching this at.